Yo, what up guys, it's your boy Rhythm, and today I'm going to show you guys something that was heavily requested and asked in general. I'm going to show you guys how to get the Rat Stallion. If you want to be a part of the Rat Squad, this mount is so cool, so fun, and I'm very happy that I got this mount. Um, now I'm going to show you how to get it. A lot of people have no idea what this mount is, how to get it or anything like that. And honestly, I wouldn't have had any idea either unless I saw the guy that I saw have it in a BG. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to open up your achievements. And the first thing you want to type in is I think I'm just going to type in Dalaran. Oh, no, there you go. Type in Tycoon and it's going to come up with this one called Underbelly Tycoon. And as you can see, it says loot 20,000 sightless eyes in Dalaran's underbelly. OK, um, and the mount reward is a rat stallion. This is how you get this mount. And it sounds pretty simple. And honestly, it is, but not really. So I should have showed you guys and I should have made this video probably like a week or so ago. And I apologize for not doing that. But they recently hot fixed the mount. And now you are not allowed to be able to do this in a raid. And that is how I did it. I did it in maybe two to three hours. It was very quick and it was because I was in a raid. Now, you might not have any idea what I'm talking about right now, but let me show you. So in order to get one of these mounts or in order to get those items that you need in order to get the mount, you have to kill big bosses down here that you'll see a bunch of players doing. Now, when you kill this guy, or any kind of boss that's down here, I think there's like four or five bosses that spawn, which they spawn very frequently, he will drop a certain item, and as you can tell when I pick it up, if I can get it, he dropped 220 sightless eyes. Now, as you rem if you remember, it costs 20,000 to basically be able to get that mount. Now, before they made this hotfix, you were able to join a huge raid and you were able to kill these bosses really quick. But the main advantage to have it, to being in a raid was that when you come over here, people can come up to this guy and they can pay him to basically have the dollar and sewer guards go on break. Now, when they go on break, all havoc happens and PvP is enabled. You can kill anybody, and I mean anybody down here as long as they're not in your group, obviously. So what the main idea was, was you're in a raid, your party is in charge, and whenever the guards got paid to go to go away, you were able to kill a bunch of people. And not only do you get those sightless eyes from the bosses, but you also get them from killing players. You get about, I would say, 20 to 60 per death or per kill. And it, if you think about it, it could add up quite a lot. So in general, what we were doing is we would go and fight bosses like this down here. And while we're killing the bosses right before they were about to die, there would be tons. And I mean, tons of people, hundreds of people down here. And somebody would pay the guards. Guards would go away. Everybody's trying to loot the boss or something like that. And it enables your whole raid to basically kill as many people as you can. Also, what you could do is since you can only hold a maximum amount of 5,000 sightless eyes, after that, it basically caps. So you want to spend this as frequent as you can. I would really suggest going in here and there's a couple of guys you can talk to. For instance, this Worgen right here, you talk to him and you can buy these things for 225 sightless eyes. And this some a large number of imps into the underbelly so I'm gonna show you guys what this does these guys will after you use it it'll spawn a bunch of imps in here as you can see all these imps that just got spawned and you can kill these guys for sightless eyes as well I don't think they give nearly as much as killing an actual player but in the meantime in the off time they give you a good bit as you can see I got two there but they add up so for example I'm killing all these just make sure you tag everything because tagging everything is gonna be your best thing possible so I tagged all these, I got 10 sightless eyes. And you just rinse and repeat that whole process and we were getting tons and tons of those of those items. Now, since they hot fixed this, you are not able to do that anymore with an array. But that still means that you can do it within a party. So if you are still looking to do this, it's going to take a lot of time. I would say you need uh, definitely a good amount of hours on your hand or on your belt. And I would say the best way to do this is group up with four of your other friends or something like that. So five people in general, you can probably, this is how I did it, but you could probably find a group by just going to pre-made groups, going to custom, and then a lot of people actually have they would say like Dalaran sewers quest or something like that and you can join up with them 
um, but only you can't be in a raid anymore in order to do this you have to be in basically a party I also would suggest trying to team up with people who could basically tag as many people as you can so you'd probably want to team up with a warlock um, a shadow priest a boomkin uh, just anything in general that allows you to basically tag as many people as you can and uh, you don't want to die obviously you want to try to kill as many people as you can I know it could be it sounds kind of hard but it honestly isn't it's actually a lot of fun in the very beginning as you can see here you can call off guards I'm gonna call it off before the guards actually before they kill the boss meaning this is gonna turn into PvP for people trying to loot and you are now able to kill whoever you want Sadly, I was not able to show you guys opening the chest, but in this chest you can usually, the big one like this that's red, you can usually get around 100 to 150 of the Typhoon marks that you need, and this guy's kind of had really horrible luck because he probably could have gotten the chest by now. So that basically sums up the end of the video. Hopefully this video helped you guys out in some way. And if it did, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button, guys, because I really do appreciate it. And if you guys have any kind of questions or anything like that, please leave them down in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.